everyone who has ever met Rodion Shedrin or Maya Plisetskaya, then they will remember it because they were such a strong couple. Uh, I don't know anybody around me who had such a couple. They were married 58 years and they were holding hands all the time. They were uh, just so complimentary and uh, uh, and of course she has stories going back to dancing for Mao Zedong, for Stalin, for Fidel Castro. I mean every time a big head of state came to Moscow, to Russia, um, that person was invited to the Bolshoi theater to see Maya Plisetskaya. Maya, she died from one moment to the other. They had been to a football match the night before, seeing uh, Real Madrid and Munich play together in, uh, in Munich, where they live. Uh, Maya had uh, eaten lots of sausages, Rodion told me, she and drank beer. She was in great form. She was almost 90 years old uh, when she died. And, um, and the day she died, uh, they had gone for a long walk like they did every year in Munich. And, she came home and got ready for dinner and uh, died from one second to another. In the last 10 years we have seen each other regularly, perhaps every, every second month even, either in Europe, in Russia, in America. We, uh, we all travel a lot and we kept in contact. I spoke with Rodion regularly, several times a month. And um, we became really close friends. They belong to another epoch. They belong to, to another world. Living in the Soviet Union, doing arts was not easy. And uh, financially, um, professionally, in, in all aspects, it was a daily fight. And how these people have uh, come out and uh, modest. And I, I found um, a friend of the family here who, who had an extra chalet, uh, very modest chalet, all in wood. I gave it to them and uh, installed the piano so that Rodion could uh, compose. In the last 10 years, I think the majority of his outpour has been either conceived or composed in, in Verbier. Uh, he gave me yesterday a, a recording of his last opera called The Left Hander, with the Marinsky Opera and Gary of Conducting. And he said, I'd like you to know, Martin, that everything, every note written in this opera was written in Verbier. And uh, it really touches me.